Hi guys. Today's video is about some changes we're going to make to the van. We're going on a, Renda and I are going on a, a solo trip very soon. Okay, will you give me a chance to talk, please? Um, we're going to be in a very remote area. <laughs> Stop that. No. Stop it. <laughs> we're going to be in a very remote area where there's no cell phone signal and no people for days and you'll be hundreds of kilometers away from anybody. So if you're gonna have a problem there and you have a breakdown, it can be very scary. So I'm, I'm doing a few changes to see if I can prepare the van for the trip. Some of them I feel are necessary and some of them are comfort uh, changes. So what are the changes we're going to do? Let's start at the back here. I'm going to install airbags at the back here so that they can hire or lower the van for driving comfort, for a better sleeping position, carry some weight. Let's go to the front. I noticed that I've got an oil leak by the wheel hubs, so I'm going to replace all the bearings and seals in the whole front hub section. I'm going to install a oil cat scan here so by the breather pipe so that the breather pipe doesn't make a mess at the bottom of the van while I'm driving. Yeah, I'm going to run very thick 16 millimeter wire all the way from the front battery to this Harrison plug here so that I can uh, plug in my compressor pump in there without having to open the bonnet or anything like that. Pump tires, pump mattresses, stuff like that. Here I'm going to install a water purification system with a UV light so that I can use uh, river water, dam water and make it drinkable. The bed. Currently the bed has got a latex mattress and after a year of trying to sleep on this thing I've given up. It is as hard as a brick. I'm going to change it to a softer type of mattress. Look at the back there, you see they've already changed the back door from two showers to three showers so, to accommodate all our toilet trees. There wasn't, just wasn't enough space. It's just as a matter of interest, you see the head right here? We're currently using the van as a sort of a power station because in South Africa we've continuously got power outages and Renda has got to jump into the van to come and dry our hair here. I forgot to tell the viewers of my genius plan how I fold the oil into the, the uh, dips and the gearboxes by pressurizing it with the compressor. Uh, you call that genius? Yeah. I'm still very offended. But you didn't want to have anything to do with me for days. Well, you were a bit stinky for days. Hey, stinky, <laughs> but well lubricated. <laughs> Let me show you how this water filtration system is going to work in the van. That is the supply side. The water comes from the tank goes through this filter which is a 5 micron sediment filter. This filter is made to, to take out all the heavy stuff like sand and grit in the water. Runs through the filter, then it runs through this filter which is a carbon filter. This filter is meant to take out heavy metals in the water that is unhealthy for you. Goes through the carbon filter. This one is not really necessary but I wanted it. This is a filter that filters it even more and it gives taste back to the water so it tastes nice. Then it goes through this little one and th then through the UV filter which is an electric device with a UV lamp inside and this kills all bacteria, uh, E. coli and all that kind of stuff that's going to make you sick. So the, the, the idea is you can take water from a river or a dam anyway, stick it through this system and it will be clean and drinkable afterwards. I've opened up this bench here so you can have a proper look. It's against the wall there, underneath the seat. It's, it's mounted on a PVC board so that if I want to take it off, it's just a matter of two screws and I can take the whole thing off and service it. Yes. 
Yeah, the oil canister is installed. It runs from the breather pipe to the, the canister and there it circulates and, it, and then it breathes out again there and it goes down to the chassis. The bed. Have a look at this. This is the roller bedding that was in here. It's already fallen to pieces by itself. So I replaced that. It's got Teflon now. This is the old Teflon mattress. It is way too hard. You can't sleep on that. Replace that. This bed actually got quite a few tricks up the sleeve. As you all know about the, the long drawer that also runs on Teflon. And you are aware of the, the camping chairs are kept above the driver's seat. But there are some extra camping chairs here. Extra chair in the backrest. underneath shoe cabinet closed drawers little bar for empty mm. I need a sponsor <laughs> empty square bottle and this one houses a little remote for the, the jack that lifts up the bed Okay. 
after I installed the airbags, I had some piping left and I decided to make some air breathers for the front and rear diff so that I can do the deep water wading when necessary. If you look carefully, you'll see the air tank at the back there. And here is the little aluminium suitcase that I keep all my stinky stuff in like the greases and the oils and so on. Here you can see the uh, thick 60mm wires I installed to, for the, to run the pump from the inside as well as the 100 amp fuse for extra safety. The wires come all the way from the front and then it goes to the switch. Plug in the air compressor in here and that goes to the air tank. And now I can fill up the air tank. I should actually start it up, but it's going to make too much noise. I'll just show you how it works. Thank <laughs> you. 